is uh, Seth Demore calling you. Hey, doing well. Thanks for the uh, quick response. Yeah, I know it was. And listen, I'm right with you. I love the shoe. I love the ride, and and the upper it feels amazing. Honestly, I don't know. Like I said in the video, it's my first pair of on shoes, but I'm kind of excited about them. I really am. I, I re like I I don't know. There's something about it that. Um, so I I mean yeah. Once the snow melts a little bit here in Denver, and I'm excited to just take them out on the pavement and uh, put put miles into them. So I'll keep you posted. All right, you have a good day. All right, bye. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. Just got off the phone. You were correct, YouTube. You were correct. You told me to either return the shoes, the on shoes that tore, or to call them, email them, tweet at them, whatever it took to get their attention and let them know about the tear in the upper. Guess what? Guess what? They are going to take care of me. This gentleman I just spoke with, a representative from On, they're going to take care of me. And they, they were so sorry that it happened. And I told them, like, listen, I love the shoe. I love the ride. It feels good so far. But this little defect, maybe it was a defect. I don't know what happened. But bottom line, On, thank you for taking care of me. That's amazing. And I cannot wait to get a new pair and put them through the paces for all of you. So don't worry, everyone. The On review is on, baby. It's on. Just, just arrived at the Boulder Running Company, and I just, I'm on my way to my run today. Just thought I'd stop by, show them the tear on the on upper, just to see, get their opinions on it. And anyway, so let's go in, see what they think. See what they think. Keith. How you doing, sir? Good, Good like to see you. I like the hat. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you look at the tear. So I'll let you see if you can find it. Usually it's at a seam spot. Yeah, right under there. Look under there. See oh, that? Yeah. Doesn't. Yeah. That's... Isn't that crazy? So first tie, and but. A... Good news. Good. On is gonna take care of me. On will take care. On of me. that their customer service, amazing. Oh, foam. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Is this another? Oh, is, yeah. it, is it the same one? Same one. Same one. Okay. Now, do you think it was a, a lot of people were commenting like, who knows, maybe it could have been a defective pair. Could, could have been defective, yeah. Could have been a glue spot. Okay. I mean, it's very rare for that brand. Yeah. Quality, yeah. Design and maker, but, uh, okay. Who knows? Yeah. Oh my goodness, are you are you guys sure? You're amazing. Got, I've got another question for you. The Speed Cross 5. It's coming, right? It's you don't have a date yet. Okay. Taking taking care of me. Taking care of me. Yeah. Back here. Kurt. Oh, Kurt. zipped out. He's like, yeah, <laughs> I'm hiding. I'm out of here. He may have went up front. We're we're out. Oh, I thought I saw someone up there. Nope. We're out in the we're we're in the warehouse, looking for the looking for the the, boss, the boss man. man. Um, this is. Do you know this guy? I do not. This guy went to my high school, Matt Hemingway. Buena Vista High School. I see the. Yeah, he went. He's, he is. Uh, took silver medal at the 04 Olympics in the, in the high jump. So that is. I'd recognize him immediately. He's like our, our hometown hero. So Keith taking care of me again. Boom. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. We're off. Uh, off to Deer Creek. Keith's favorite place, right? <laughs> oh yeah, shoelace. You know. Oh yeah, those are the real ones, right? Yeah. Right, no, I will not be taking the ons on the trail. All right. See you, man. Thank you, Keith. Appreciate it. Keith is the best. Kurt is the best here at the BRC in Littleton. Come check him out. And uh, man, they got me a new pair just like that. Oh man, but on, so are you. So, holy guacamole. Don't know what to do. Just grateful. Just gotta remain grateful, folks. 
for good running shoe companies that have great customer service and running shoe stores that have great customer service. It's the bottom line in, oh, past my car, bottom line in the uh, 21st century. All right, Deer Creek, I'm coming for you. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, calling an audible, not gonna run at Deer Creek today. Basically, Deer Creek has a little more vertical, and since it's my first week back, trying to chill out, not go too crazy. So we called an audible. We are at South Valley Park, and I'm waiting for Steve and Maddie to show up. It's gonna be so fun. Probably squeeze in a couple miles before they get here, uh, but I think we'll go, you know, four or five miles, nothing too crazy. And again, a shout out to the Boulder Running Company for taking care of me with this on lineup here. Uh, basically, this is the on cloud, and I know like this is not their the go go to uh, running shoe from on. Maybe a little more in the category of a cross trainer, but I'm actually I enjoyed it a couple days ago when I did run in it, even though the upper did tear on me. All right, today I am running in the Solomon Ultra S Lab Ultra, and I almost called it the Ultra Pro, the Solomon S Lab Ultra. This is a, just a nice. Uh, not too aggressive trail shoe. You see the lugs there on the bottom. They're just not, they're not crazy uh, deep, but they get the job done. It is a little muddy out here today. So you get to meet Steve and Maddie. All right, some fellow runners here in Colorado. All right, come on, come on. Sixty four degrees, sixty four degrees. Oh my goodness. Oh well. I should be wearing shorts right now. It's like Denver, Denver, Denver. What are we gonna do with you? Here we go. I'm striving it right now. Oh. Uh oh. Good. Yeah. Have you given up, uh, given up your smartphone? Well, this thing's a brick. I have no watch yet, except for this 1999 Limits Timex. Nice. Hey, that's the way to go sometimes. Less technology's better. Sweet! All right, you know the drill. What's everyone running in? Steve? This is a Nike structure 22s. Nike's, oh, you're like Joseph. He loves the structure. Oh, yeah. Maddie? Uh, I think these are the Pure Grit, Brooks Pure Grit 5. Okay. Whatever was cheapest on Running Warehouse <laughs> a year and a half ago. Love it. Still working through it. All about pinching pennies. Happy. And I've got the Solomon S Lab Ultras. Hi, Pop. And I love them. They're a good trail shoe when it's not too aggressive out. So, I am not in the on shoes. Today, not today. The Europeans are really, they're not too happy with me right now because the live stream is starting too late. <laughs> well, that's a cool problem to have. They still stay like, I mean, available? Yeah. yeah, it's available. The ginger runner must have that issue. Yeah. Just roll with it. We'll figure it out. Time warp somehow. have to borrow this take this with me here we go high fives boom love the glasses by the way oh, thank you. dang Steve roca. are they Roca nice I good old gooders they're okay cheap all right guys go green go green go home <laughs> all right peace see you guys all right
Everyone deserves a second chance. Alrighty, here we are standing in the on clouds right now. I have them on my feet and they feel great. They feel great and no tears this time around putting them on my feet inside. So that's a bonus. And who knows, maybe it was a defective pair. A couple of you mentioned that in the comments a couple days ago that the last pair could have been just a bad, a bad batch, you know, and who knows, who knows in the grand scheme of mass production. Uh, but I also heard a story today at the Boulder Running Company that I won't mention the shoe company, but basically, uh, as he was walking from his uh, his car to the trailhead, by the time he got to the trailhead, his toes were sticking out of the side of the shoe because of basically bad glue on the shoes. So yeah, bad, you know, there can be bad uh, pairs of shoes out there, something to be aware of. And my shoe of choice for today was the Solomon Ultra. This shoe, uh, and this is not going to be my full review, just a few brief thoughts. I would wear this shoe in a half marathon to 50k trail race. Uh, I don't know if I would take it much beyond 50k. Like it has some okay cushion, but not amazing. So some some ladies and gentlemen that are professional ultra runners will wear this shoe for the 100 mile distance. Eh, I don't know. I don't know if it has quite enough support and cushion for the 100 mile distance, but um, it, it performed well today in the mud and the trail was pretty buffed out today, so not a lot of rocks. And I would not wear this shoe on really technical trails. Uh, it's more for that buffed out trail feel. And it has some okay lug action on the bottom. Not incredible. But I, you know, I wasn't slipping around at all today. But if, it was, if, if you're dealing with really muddy conditions, this is not the shoe for, for those conditions. So anyway, just a few thoughts on the Sol Solomon Ultra shoe. I, I love it. It's a great shoe. Uh, but not, I don't know if it's the best Solomon shoe out there. I'll just put it that way. And a quick update on the live streams. Thank you for chiming in to yesterday's question of the day, part one, about what night of the week would be best for you for tuning in live to watch the live streams moving forward. And a lot of great thoughts and ideas are streaming in. It's kind of split 50-50 right now between Monday and Wednesday. And those two nights of the week work best for me. The weekends are tough, just so you know, and I know some of you are, have school, you know, during the week, and obviously you have work during the week, but I also need a little bit of a weekend, and so like Friday and Saturday nights are not so good because people are usually out, you know, maybe getting dinner or, I don't know, just doing stuff out and about, especially in the summertime. So I don't think Friday, I don't think the weekends are going to work well. Uh, only because I also need like a little break on the weekends. Therefore, Monday and Wednesday are definitely the top two uh, answers right now. And I just thought of this, Monday Night Football. That could be something that interferes throughout the football, which is for everybody that's outside the United States. It's a pretty big deal. People tune in and watch Monday Night Football. Also, some of you commented about the Ginger Runner who does his live streaming on Monday nights, and that could create some uh, uh, conflict, time conflicts, if we did Monday night. Therefore, I have decided, after talking with True Love, Wednesday nights. It's going to be Wednesday nights moving forward at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. So instead of 6 p.m. Mountain Time, we're going to do 7 p.m. Again, a lot of you voiced your opinion that 7 p.m. would work a little better, which makes sense because 6 p.m. is dinner time for everybody here in Colorado. Now, 7 p.m. means 9 p.m. on the East Coast, so I know that's a little later, And but then it's 6 p.m. on the West Coast. Anyway, there's never going to be a perfect time. For example, I apologize to everyone in Europe. Like, listen, it's, ah, uh, what am I, what are you going to do? I can't, uh, I can't buy locate yet. I'm, I'm working on that. I'm working on that. So maybe at some point I I will do different times uh, for people in Europe, for people in Asia, for people ar literally around the world, you know, maybe once every three months will change up the time. But for now, it's going to be Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Mountain Time, starting next week. And as far as the format, here we go. Are you ready? So I, I love your tips and ideas that are streaming in. Keep them coming. Basically, I'm, I, I like the hour format, sticking to an hour. I want to respect everybody's time. And so if I'm just getting, you know, of course, but, and I don't have a producer, just so you know, like True Love, you know, is negotiating with the children inside as I'm out here in the shed doing the live stream so she can only help so much. And therefore I'm thinking the format initially will be, we'll, we'll, we're gonna, okay, let me, we're gonna do three sections over a 60 minute period. So 20 minute sections. 
and the first section will be a specific topic the second 20 minutes will be another topic and the last 20 minutes will be open q a will you where you can just go crazy and bombard me with any question about life about running but initially so for example we would do the first 20 minutes on injuries the second 20 minutes on how to train for a 5k and the and the last 20 minutes will be open q a sound good so so it'll focus our discussion a little better over the course of the hour that we are together and over time we'll, we'll just get we're gonna get better as we go through this uh because we're we're all learning and i believe we are going to fix the technical difficulty basically yes true love and i we're gonna up the speed of our internet like tomorrow uh hopefully we're working on it right now where we i believe it came down to an internet issue our internet just wasn't fast enough to do the live stream somehow it worked in the end but we're gonna up the internet speed so hopefully no more technical difficulties moving forward sound good sound good oh i'm excited and i i appreciate the voting monday wednesday i think wednesday's gonna work better because mondays again monday night football ginger runner and then also i'm just gonna be coming off of the weekend and so if it's wednesday i'm gonna have a little bit more time to prepare i love you all thank you for chiming in to that question of the day okay keyword friends friends out on the trails today absolutely amazing that's the keyword friends and the question of the day oh i love this one. Oh, i love this one this is going to be really really important as we move into the 2019 year and as we move into 2019 running shoes all right here we go what two shoes would you like me to compare against each other in 2019? And it could be within the same brand. It could be a New Balance versus Nike. It could be a Solomon versus La Sportiva. It could be two trail shoes, two road shoes, two racing shoes. So what shoes would you like me to compare against each other? All right, an example that I, well, no, I don't wanna skew your answers, all right? So think outside the box, think about it like, what shoes would you like me to compare in 2019? Sound good? Hit it up down below. I'd appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Thanks for being you on YouTube. This We did it, guys. What a day. What a day. Seek beauty. Work hard. Love each other. See you tomorrow. Mm -mm -mm.